Good day YouTube. Another snuff review for me today. And it's gonna be on Sam Gowith's Otterhound. Really interesting uh, sort of scented snuff this one. It's um it's not like anything I've had before, it's got a real sort of strong smell to it, which um I really like actually. Um certainly if you're looking for something with a strong smell this is uh, gonna it's gonna fit the bill. I have the tin or jar. You get that really perfumed scent. Um, it's hard to put my finger on exactly what's in it. That's really hard. Um, Certainly got a load of different flavours in there. Um, I'm just going to uh, see what the description is of this one online. So this one says, complex perfumed aroma that reminds you of walking through the perfume department, apartment, uh, department of an upmarket department store. It can be off-putting at first, it says, due to the smell. However, I don't. I don't think it is. I think it's sort of um, intriguing. So yeah, I mean, it basically says what I was going to say. It, it is a very fluffy snuff. Um, little look in the jar, and then we'll go to the snuff table for closer inspection. Over to you, Ben. Here we have the Otter Hound snuff, and my tin is empty because to keep this one in a glass jar. And as soon as you open that jar, you get that big hit of the floral scent from this Otter Hound. It's a lovely, lovely smell, and I'll go on to that in the rest of the video. Um, as you can hopefully see, uh, it's the standard Wilson's of Sharrow lightish brown a nice medium grind medium to fine nice fluffy texture very 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 easy to take uh, if you're a beginner and uh, you like Florals, well, this is more of a sort of incense, not incense, um, like essential oils, maybe. It's that sort of fragrant smell. Um, I would recommend this one because it's a real, it's got a really strong scent and it will really stick around. It will definitely stick around in your nose for a while. Um, if you're watching Brian Kelly, you'll like this one if you do try snuff. So, back to me in the studio. Okay, so uh, let's try some of this. Yeah, if we can get a good close focus there, there we go. Now it says on the uh, description, with no burn, but take a big enough pinch you're gonna get a bit of burn. Real strong oof, scent there, straight up in the nose. But it does, uh, it does settle down. But I know from previous experience that um, you will get sort of uh, wafts of this smell for a while after you've had it, which is nice because you don't get many snuffs. You don't get many that will stick around, certainly not for this long. Most of them tend to, uh, to fade out after a couple of minutes, uh, leaving you wondering what you've actually taken. Whereas Otterhound will um, not, certainly not do that. Uh, it's a great snuff, no problems taking it. It's fluffy, it's just straight, you know, straightforward Samuel Gowith quality tobacco. 
the great great perfume and uh, when you take it you can sniff it as hard as you want great for a beginner um, if you like burning candles if you like strong perfume you'll love Otter Hand um, definitely would recommend giving this a go and I would say I'd give Otter Hound probably a 4 out of 5 um, you do have to be in the mood for it because it is it is a strong perfume scent so if you're not in the mood for something this strong um, you might you might be put off by it um, but I'd definitely give it a go so Samuel Gowis Otter Hound Snuff give it a try and uh, a really nice sign off that I may start using that I heard the other day. May your smoke continue to rise. Take care.